Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to the channel. Now, have you ever been high, fast or fighting the glide slope in your aircraft on final approach, but you've carried on anyway just because you were almost there? Well, that's exactly how real world accidents start. So the question is, how do you know when it's time to go around? Well, Airbus actually does give us a rule book, a stabilized approach criteria that every airline builds upon when creating its own standard operating procedures. Now, if you look back in history, runway overruns at Sochi, Kathmandu, Toronto, for example, and hundreds of other unstabilized approaches that all never made the news, all share one cause, and that is because the aircraft wasn't stable, but the crew pressed on anyway. Now, in the simulator world, this happens almost constantly, whether you're flying on VATSIM, IVAO, or even just on your own. You're high, you're hot, your partners shout at you, say that dinner's ready and on the table, air traffic control clears you to land and you think well I'm just gonna make this work that mentality in the real world is when accidents will happen and our video today is going to be focusing on what is the stabilization criteria now Airbus don't just leave this to your own judgment although good airmanship is important but the a320 FCOM and flight crew techniques manual there are clear definitions of when an approach must be stabilized by and what stabilized actually means and of course if you're not stabilized by a particular point then you know what to do yes go around so the stabilization criteria have to be met by 1000 feet and there are six things that you need to look at number one is the configuration are your landing flaps set this obviously for an Airbus 320 could be config full or config 3 whichever you've planned Next then is your aircraft speed. Now this can be a little bit more complicated as different airlines will accept different tolerances. Naturally you want to be targeting your approach speed or VAP. So naturally you want your speed to be around your VAP speed with no major accelerations or decelerating trends, thrust stable and the energy of the aircraft under control. Third then, the aircraft has to be established on the final path. If you're using the autopilot and an ILS then localizer and glide slope both captured or final approach mode enabled if you are flying an RNAV approach. With autopilot off and flying manual, you need to be less than one dot deviation from both lateral and vertical paths. And the fourth, if you're landing with auto thrust on, it must be in speed mode. Number five, the pitch and the power must be stable so that you're not chasing anything. And finally, number six, the landing checklist must be complete. Now, if at any point any of these are not completed by a thousand feet, you are not flying a stabilized approach. I must caveat at this point some airlines do tailor this to their own specific needs. So some airlines may need the landing checklist to be completed by 500 feet for example. Now these are the basic things that Airbus gives you as the stabilization criteria and as I said airlines will tailor this to their own accord. Airbus doesn't give you magic numbers like plus five knots on the speed or things like that. Stable would just mean a predictable energy and if you're making small smooth corrections still to stay on the center line of course that is absolutely fine but if you're chasing the speed or the vertical path below a thousand feet well you're not flying you're fighting the aircraft and you're behind now it's at this point that a lot of flight simulator pilots will simply just push through this all the time you're on your final approach and the air traffic control will clear you to land but in the real world that clearance doesn't matter if you're not stable go around most accidents involving modern airlines aren't because something broke sadly it is due to human error and get their itis many of you will remember our great friend on the channel here HD he sent me this picture which I think just about sums everything in this video up and to quote him if it looks rubbish by a thousand feet then it's probably not going to get any better I am paraphrasing his words because well this is a family friendly channel so the next time you you're on final in your sim aircraft ask yourself are you flying a stabilized approach and do you tick all those boxes by a thousand feet if not then do the sensible thing and go around 
It's worth noting now as well that the 1000 feet approach stability gate really only applies to normal approaches like ILS and RNAV approaches. If you're doing a funky approach, something like a circle to land approach, well, these use different stability gates down even lower. And that's because below 1000 feet, you could still be technically turning at a decent bank angle to line up with the runway. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you've got any questions then please do leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to come back and answer you. Really hope you've enjoyed the video as well and of course if you have don't forget to leave a like and of course if you're new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and of course live stream flights. Thanks so much for watching, look forward to seeing you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.